Hello and welcome. Okay, this is going to be a short one. I've had a couple of questions recently about the amount of power this system consumes. And I haven't actually checked recently, so I figure I would uh, do a quick update on that. I've currently got the core CPU, the UART, the VGA and the new pallet circuit plugged in. And I've got one of these USB power testers. So let's plug it in, power up the CPU and get an idea of what it consumes. Okay, so we're getting 0.39 to 0.4 amps, but the clock's not running at the moment. So that's just the static load of this circuitry. So let's actually fire it up, let it drop into the monitor and see what it's doing there. Okay, it's jumped up to 0.7273 amps. Now let's actually run some code. So this is running at four megahertz. We could drop it down to trace mode. See so yeah, how that drops quite a bit down to 0.63. And in run mode, that's running at four megahertz, but that's actually just gonna be sat there in quite a tight loop waiting for inputs. So let's see if we can run something a bit more interesting and see what we can get the loading up to. So this is going to be the Mandelbrot code. Okay, so this should actually be loading quite high in terms of the CPU throughput, but it's not really going any higher than it would normally do. But now it's dropped into the pallet cycle loop and it's actually dropped slightly. Try the Vortex demo. That's a little bit lower as well. Although that does make sense because whilst it looks like there's a lot going on, it's mostly being updated during the vertical blanking interval and the CPU is largely idle, just waiting for the next blanking interval during most of the frame. And let's give it a quick try with the prime number calculating code. That's interesting. It was actually slightly lower calculating primes, but I believe at the moment that piece of code actually spends most of its time just waiting for the UART to output the numbers. So maybe it's not such a good test. Anyway, this isn't going to be properly settled until I've done a test including all the VGA modules and the audio and controller and storage module all together. But since I've been asked the question, I thought I'd do a quick update. Hope you found it interesting. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to test power wise just before I do any final tests at the end of the build completion. Goodbye.